September, what is it, 30th, 2024. It's a Monday. I'm here in my bookstore, book and media store. And uh, I wanted to share with you some things that have been going on. So the Jim Butcher books already sold. I put that in a video. My last video or the video before, I can't remember. Uh, if you remember, I got these and a bunch of um, Robert Jordan books donated to my bookstore, my other location. And I already sold these. So there's 14 of them. If you get a bunch of Jim Butcher's, uh, especially the Dresden Files, uh, it's a whole series. There's like, I think the complete series is 17 or 19 books, somewhere in that range. And this is 14 of them. So I actually had books 2 to 10, 11 to 15. Um, and I had it listed for $49.99 plus shipping, taking offers. But it ended up selling or I ended up taking an offer for $40, which I'm totally happy with. I can't stress enough, and I'll keep saying it in my videos, to take offers. If you don't take offers, you're going to sell less on eBay. Amazon doesn't allow you to take offers, right? you got to compete on price with other sellers who are going to undercut you constantly, especially the ones that have very aggressive repricing software. Versus eBay, you can compete on price, but you can also take offers. So dependent on your photos, dependent on your... Um, Dependent on on the keywords on what you have, but you know you can you can you can post something that's at the lower end of the of the price spectrum for whatever you're listing on eBay, and then take offers, right? Or you can price it higher and take offers. You'll find that a lot of your competitors will not take offers. Don't be one of those people. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna sell less. Um, and if it's because well, I'm paying too much or I'm paying more for my items, then you either need to, I recommend you either find cheaper items or I don't know, it's, it's you're just gonna sell less, um, unfortunately. But um, if I didn't take offers, I would sell so much less, especially for these lots, but also for individual items. Uh, if you're paying lots of money for your items, then I would figure out a way to pay less. And if you're just not in an area that has a lot of whatever it is, you know, if you're going to garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, library book sales, if it doesn't have that many of those, then it's just going to be tough to be a reseller. Uh, it's much, there's much less um, of a struggle to find inventory when you live in a more highly populated area. I'm in Southern California, you know, within 10 miles, there's hundreds of thousands of people, 20, 30 miles, we're talking millions of people. So there's going to be endless supply of inventory whether it's the way i get it which i tell you about which is getting donations um, doing trades in my store buying items or like i just talked about doing it through this traditional route um, or even looking on facebook marketplace offer up to find bulk buys uh, craigslist that kind of thing if you if it's a lowly you know if it's a, a area that you live in doesn't have very many big population it's going to be harder period and you might have to pay higher prices unfortunately unless you can figure out a way um, to buy online or whatever it may be so um, but I recommend you take offers so I got this for free it was donated that's one of the benefits of having a bookstore and a media store is people just want to get rid of their stuff and they want to give it to somebody that um, they know is actually going to do something with it or at least try to to get into someone else's hands which is what i try to do um and you know that's that's what ends up going on i'm not saying that you should open up a store uh unless you really want to only do it if you really really want to um because it does tie you down if you if you don't have someone working for you but anyway that's a whole nother video so this sold for 40 dollars. just going on a tangent here but i can't stress enough the importance of taking offers um 14 of them, right? Which is more, it's pretty close to the, the complete set, the complete series. Um, it's only like, I don't know, four or five away. So someone is definitely going to be interested in this because they get an instant, almost entire, you know, collection of the series <clears throat> uh, and take offers. And then what's going on over here is these were donated just like these, but these were donated here in my store where I am now on Saturday. I didn't, I only was in here an hour hour and a half um i had someone working for me uh which i do on and off when my kids have soccer games which is what they're doing right now they're in the fall season so every weekend they have games 
Um, but he was in here and someone donated all of these. I already put out some of them. As you can see, this is what's going out this week in my store. So some of these already came from here. Some of the um, DVDs and Blu-rays. And, and then these I actually bought. Um, was that yeah? Was that Saturday? Yes, that's right. Someone did come in Saturday. It was actually busy the last hour. And I bought all of these. Plus, there was some more that I put out already. Two Blu-rays and, and some DVDs uh, and, uh, as well. So there was actually a living in living color in there as well. I paid twenty two bucks for these plus more. There was an in living color. There was a couple others, um, but you know I would rather. So so it's a mixture for me, right? Like people say, oh, I wish I could get free stuff. Well, there's there's things you have to do. Like opening the store. I mean, as you can see, it's a lot of work. You gotta have all the get all the bookcases. You gotta get all the shelving. You gotta get all the inventory. <clears throat> you gotta you know make signs. You got to put all your stuff online. You know, it, it's it's a lot of work, right? And then you got to be here in person, uh, which means you got to have the time to do that depending on your life schedule and whether this is full-time or not. So I'm not recommending doing that unless you really want to. But because I've put in that work over the last five years, yes, this store now, we're going into October. October of 2019 is when I got the store. So that's crazy. Um, but yeah, and because of that, it took a while too, but because of that, now I get lots of donations. I also get lots of trades that I do and lots of buys. Um, so you can create that without a store. There's other ways to do that. But um, but yeah, that's what happens, right? So I get donation, donation, and then a buy. Uh, and my point was, why I went off on that is, is I don't mind spending a little bit more money on something like this. Because typically, like, there was another five or so in here when I bought it, like I said. 22 bucks, right? It's it's paying a bit too much. I offered 20 and he kind of wasn't sure. And then he said 22 and he was fine with it. So that's okay because it's a new customer. Um, he said he had CDs. He might be back with CDs. You know, worst case scenario is that I, I got some decent stuff in the store. And I'll never see him again. Best case, he'll bring me more. He'll bring me CDs or anything else. Or he'll become a customer or he'll tell somebody about me. And he'll have a positive experience, right? Instead of me saying, oh, pfft. I'll give you 10 bucks for, you know, something really low. I felt like 20 was, was reasonable. Um, I mean, he was comfortable with 22, so he was happy with the deal. So as long as he's happy, I'm not paying a ridiculous amount. You know, if he was like, oh no, I'll only take 40, then I would say no. <laughs> Cause I calculated how much I was going to charge in the store for everything. And it was around 60 bucks, which is why I offered 20, which I think is reasonable. It's, you know, about a third, it's a third or so of what I would potentially eventually make by selling everything. Um, there was only a couple of items that were priced that I'm going to price higher than my, my normal prices. So these are all things that I can calculate when I'm deciding whether to buy something or not. But, um, it, like I said, the worst case, he'll never come back. That was it. But, but he has a positive experience. So he'll either, he'll either never tell anybody, which is, that's like the worst case scenario, right? I got some decent stuff and he won't tell anybody or he'll tell somebody, he'll never come back and tell somebody. Uh, that he had a positive experience and then you know maybe that'll lead to somebody showing up or uh, telling somebody else you just never know right and the best case scenario is he'll come back bring me more stuff or he'll come back and bring people with him or he'll tell other people uh or, you know or he'll become a customer so just think long term <clears throat> whether it's you know in a, in a situation like this where i have a store physical retail store location or even ebay be nice to people even if they're ridiculous <laughs> you know, uh, refund them some of their money. You know, there was anyway, I could go off on that, but just by me paying, I paid a little bit too much, you know, 20, I mean, I can get a whole Gaylord of mixed media for a couple hundred bucks and have hundreds and hundreds of, of items in there. And so many items that I can use and make, you know, a couple thousand dollars off of a couple hundred bucks, if not more than that. So of course I'm overpaying a little bit, but it's different, right? Like I'm not selling only online. I'm selling in the, in my store. I want to have quality, diverse inventory that's priced to move and, um, and that's changing and that, that has a lot of options for people, a, lot, a big selection. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So, you know, not having a bookstore is fine. Uh, you can do things like Someone, you know, someone commented on my video, right? Like, you know, about leaving ads, putting ads online. You can do that, but 
I recommend creating like a presence, right? Like have a destination where people can find you. So there goes the light. So you don't have to have a physical location like me, but you can have a website, which is pretty inexpensive. The domain is like, you know, 15 bucks a, month, a year. The, the hosting is pretty inexpensive. I don't know what it is, 10 bucks a month or something like that. <clears throat> um, which, you know, is an expense, I get it. But if you create that presence, have a decent website, um, have a page saying, you know, tell your story, right? Like I, I'm selling, I'm creating, I'm starting a business or I've been doing this for a while, whatever. Uh, and have a page that, that is dedicated to picking up books from people, books and media. That's what I do. I have a website and a one page, very simple, nothing fancy, but it's been picked up by Google. People have found that site, that page. They filled out the form uh, multiple times. I've also gotten a lot of phone calls from that, from my website. Um, have a Facebook page. I recommend having a Facebook page. I recommend having Instagram presence. Um, if you want to do TikTok, do that as well and have the same name across all of them. Um, you know, you can do that. YouTube. I'm not showing my face. I have in the past. I'm not saying I won't again, but you can do YouTube videos show, using, showing your face or not. People will find you locally um, as long as you have local contact information. So this, <laughs> this video has turned into a lot of different things, but I basically wanted to share with you guys what I came across. Uh, I got in recently. Um, I'm going to go down to my bookstore. They're filming down there. I'm going to see what's going on down there and, and if I can be nosy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Find quality inventory. List the inventory as soon as possible. Be consistent for online sales, um, for Amazon and eBay. That's, that's all I can say. Tell people what you do. Let them know. That's the other thing. Have a business card. Pretty inexpensive. Word of mouth. Just tell people what you do. Put up physical flyers. There's all kinds of ways to do that. Just use the same name, right? You know, use your name, use a business name, whatever it is. Um, and you, you will be surprised. You know, it's not going to, you're not going to be able to build that in a couple of months. It might take a year. It might take a year and a half locally to build that consistent funnel, right? But keep working at it. All right, guys, take care.